SEC fans, welcome to another edition of Coach and Crew Show, where you've been watching me, and I appreciate that. And every day during talking season, because that's what this is, talking season, we come up with a new list and new 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 storyline for you. And we also take feedback. So please feel welcome to to obviously please follow, comment below on on your thoughts, and if you have any things you would like us to discuss. And we have a checklist already of requests that have come in. Today, we're counting down the top 10, subjectively speaking, most intriguing non-conference SEC games this season. Starting us off at number 10, and I can't believe I put this one at 10, the more I think about it. South Carolina, North Carolina, week one, game day is there. Number nine is also a rematch. This time, Texas A&M is on the road down in South Florida at the U. And last year, this was supposed to be the hype of the century and the game of the century. Well, not that big. But then something happened before we got to that point. We'll just leave it at that. So what's this year going to look like? Got a little curveball for you for a few of them. And these are, like I said, intriguing. You got UTSA, Texas San Antonio, the Roadrunners going to Rocky Top in late September. San Antonio is now part of the American Conference. They have a possible preseason player of the year, depending on who you ask, and their quarterback, Frank Harris. And UTSA, the past couple of seasons, has been one of the top five teams in the nation in scoring. Number seven, an old Big 12 matchup. Kansas State in a return match comes to Mizzou. How's the zoo going to handle this? Kansas State is looking to recontinue. And, hey, if you remember, they are the current Big 12 champion. So are they going to continue with Chris Kleinman as their head coach and continue to speak at that level? And where's Eli going to get his squad ready for this game? Six, again, most intriguing. Ole Miss is at Tulane. Tulane won the Cotton Bowl last year, folks, over USC in a shootout. They're All-American running back NFL. They still have their quarterback, though. Coming in at number five, this might be one of the bigger ones. And it could rank higher if things go well for both squads as we get through the season. Last game of regular season, Florida State, Florida. That's all I need to say. We're going to stay with the Gators at number four. First game of the season, Thursday night, Florida at Utah. This one's got lots of intrigue. How are the Gators going to do with Graham Martz? How are the Gators going to do in the altitude? How's it going to look year two under Billy Napier? With, against one of the most productive coaches of all time in Ken Willingham, who is still the head coach after Urban Meyer left for Florida. Yeah, he has not moved in, what, 19, 20 years. Number three, I just look back to last year alone. Clemson at South Carolina. What's this year going to look like and what is all going to be on the line on that last week of regular season? Number two happens in week two. Texas in a return match, a future SEC member with Quinn Ewers as quarterback and all the, dare I say, controversy of was there holding and was there knee down on, on that Bryce Young escape scramble pass that that turned out to be setting up the game winner for Alabama. And the number one most intriguing match of 2023 non-conference games, uh, including an SAC school, at least at this point of the year, game one, LSU, Florida State, a return match again, this time in another neutral setting, but in Orlando at Camping World Stadium. Florida State pulled off the upset of all upsets, and both teams went from there. How is this year going to look? Both teams and most people's radars are coming in as preseason top 10. We'll see if it makes the hype. How's my list compared to yours? What game would you add that I didn't have? Or did you agree with all 10 of mine? Make sure you follow me back and comment below. Thanks for watching.